Meanwhile. Meanwhile, on the Mana Symbol channel, we are hanging out, playing our second Grinding Breach deck of the night. Is this a good idea? Absolutely not. Are we doing it? Hell yeah! This one is from the Jig, the Wig, the one and only Arun Singh. Uh, we talked about it on the newest episode of uh, Serum Visions podcast, which is coming out this week. This is Grixis Grinding Breach. Um, so we are playing the Underworld Breach Grinding Station combo with Fast's Oracle to win the game. Along with Mox Ambers and uh, the usual suspect of Emery, Lurker of the Lock. However, in addition to those cards, we're playing black cards in the form of Unearth and Luris of the Dream Den. We already know that Unearth in a Luris Emery deck is fabulous because when your opponent goes after you with Thoughtseize or early removal, then you have a sort of out for it, just general backup. Um, Roy the boy, you may be interested to know that there's a witch's cottage in this deck because great modern mind Everett Muhan, that's right, aspiring Spike himself thinks that it's a good card and that it is very, very reasonable. Um, Jiggy Wiggy agrees with him, so we're going to see what we can do with it. And uh, according to Jiggy, it's been successful already. Now, when you are playing this kind of deck, the question is, what else are you doing? Because you do have a number of flex slots, and you can use those flex slots to try to up the consistency of your combo, uh, introduce some amount of disruption. Uh, the original versions uh, that were Jeskai, I say original, the versions when people were getting super hyped about Underworld Breach and Grinding Station were Jeskai, and they played Teferi Time Raveler and some amount of counter magic in the form of Re Metallic Rebuke and Cryptic Command. What we've opted for uh, is Springleaf Drum to give us a little bit more mana, and then the combination of Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, and Lazav, the Multifarious. So Kroxa is similar to uh, Uro in the way that we are able to consistently and easily fill our graveyard using Grinding Stations and Emery's to always be able to escape Kroxa on turn three, or sometimes even, uh, sorry, on turn four or even on turn three with Mox Amber and or Springleaf Drum. Turn two is possible. Yes, not likely in this deck, but three is certainly possible. Uh, and then Lazav the Multifarious is very interesting. So for blue and a black, you get a 1-3 Shapeshifter, legendary creature. When it enters the battlefield, you surveil one. And then for X mana, Lazav the Multifarious can become a copy of target creature in your graveyard with converted mana cost X. So this works exceptionally well with Crocs uh, Titan of Death's Hunger, uh, Lanny, NY, 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 NY of the Faithless Brewing Discord. Uh, at one point had a deck with Oops All Titans. Uh, with Lazav, Kroxa, and Uro. Uh, in this case, we're using it with Kroxa, and then occasionally with Luris. Um, so for two mana, you get your 6-6 six, six Kroxa with the attack trigger. So that is sort of our B plan, is a sort of mid-range, mildly graveyard-associated deck. Um, but it is also nice that that strategy is able to tax the cards in our opponent's hand. Meanwhile. So... Uh, that will hopefully put pressure on them in such a way that we are either able to clear the way for our breach or our breach is able to clear the way uh, for that Croxa mid-range strategy to work. Uh, I don't know how good this deck is, but Jiggy Wiggy is certainly pretty high on it, and I've seen it do good things, so let's find out if that works for me. Previous... Previous league was a tough one on Teamer Grinding Breach. We're hoping to make slightly less misplays in this one. If we do end up against white taxes, we'll try to play out our Mox Ambers early and often. So Roy, how do you uh, how do you feel about maybe being right all along about the power of uh, of Witch's Cottage? You always believed. You don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Sometimes you say it best when you say nothing at all. <laughs> Blossoming defense.
I want to call the band that wrote that song Grand Central Station, but that's definitely not right. But it is a, a country classic. I definitely should not have kept this hand. But uh, let's hope I get paid off for it. Don't know why I just sort of clicked through on it. But we're here now, so... Whoa, 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 A social interaction you've run into frequently is being told you're right? That doesn't sound right. All right. Um, so I think we'll just play out a swamp into the grinding station. Your reaction to being right is just being just just having nothing to say. That's fair. All right, island player, flooded strand player, what say you about my grinding station? Usually people grumble and slowly avoid revisiting the issue instead of saying you're right. Oh, well, I mean, sure. Breeding pool, don't you dare cast a growth spiral. I said no, no, bad opponent. All right, I would love to draw a Mishra's Bobble to go with this Luris. I would also love my opponent did not slam Wilderness Reclamation here. Although Cryptic Command, I suppose, would be equally bad. I think I'm going to grind, grind on myself. It's going to be over here grinding on myself. <laughs> Flips and every Whoops. Not, not what I was looking to do. Engineered Explosives. Not what I was looking to draw. All right, well, this this is not not working out particularly well. I hmm. I feel like what I should do is play Springleaf Drum into nothing and just hope they eventually tap something. But it definitely this definitely feels poor. Engineer Explosive is not a great draw here. I'm sure Jiggy Wiggy would tell me that uh, this deck does, in fact, have a good control matchup, but I truly believe it's just Jiggy Wiggy that has a good control matchup. Please, Cryptic Command, my grinding station. Cycle Shark Typhoon. That is not what I said. It's not what I wanted. I do not like that. Shark is unacceptable. Urza, this takes me back. Well, we're not actually playing any Urzas in this deck list at all, I don't think. Sorry, Enlightened Muppet. I don't think there are any Urzas actually in this list. And apparently there's no Croxes in this list either. That's that's a yikes. Um, so we'll play out an artifact. I bought Shark Typhoon because the card is so sweet, but I hate the decks it goes in. I love the decks it goes in. That is, those are my jam. Use grinding station. Yes, sure. Uh, cast Emery. Unfollowed and unsubscribed. Listen, just because I'm the last Urza streamer doesn't mean I have to stream Urza all the time, every day. That was never part of the deal. Wasn't part Blackheart. That wasn't part. All right. So cryptic counter bounce. That's just rude. I do have another grinding station in my graveyard. So I'm just going to go ahead and grind on myself. Because that's how I am. Did we flip a Croxy yet? Nope. Don't you know if you mainly stream one thing, you can only do that thing for all time? Otherwise, the internet gets mad. It's real talk. All right. Roy, I'd like to put this Emery on top with my Witch's Cottage. No, really, I would, because I, I can't recast it with Luris. 
Cast Luris. Cast. Oh god, there's no bobble? I guess I'll play a Springleaf Drum. Womp womp. Huh. Brutal. Witch's Cottage is hype. Not gonna lie. That's fair. That's fair. Love that card in spoiler season. I mean, it's pretty cool. Finna, is that fitting to? Fitting to? Fitting to start streaming and title all my streams last Noggle streamer. I mean, you'd also be the first Noggle streamer, so I feel like that's a better title. I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to workshop it, you know? I'm not trying to give you notes, but I'm just saying, if I could be the Noggle streamer, I would call myself the first Noggle streamer. Let's be real. Not, like, come on. Just, just... You gonna upkeep path me? You gonna draw step path me? Or you're not pathing me at all? Okay. What if I played Grinding Station? Would you path me now? Path me now, child? Really? Okay. I'm sure. I'll untap my grinding station. Emery? Oh, you, you know what? You're 100% right. I, I just, I just, uh, these, these breeding pools, these are not real cards to me, so I just assume they could do anything. Um, which is obviously wrong and bad. I'm just telling you why I'm, I'm wrong and bad. Breeding pools are a social construct. Fact, fact. Fact or fiction? Yikes. Opponent's playing a good deck. Uh, how about you take these or you take those? Yeah. I think they will take the stack of lands. Puts Uro and Shark Typhoon in their graveyard. Yes, I was correct. Opponent could technically metamorphose into path. Uh, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. So I assume they're on Nexus of Fate, which means grinding stations actually fairly valuable as a potential win condition here. So. Oh, we finally hit a bobble too, so I can start drawing extra cards, thank goodness. First Noggle streamer sounds like an opportunity to call it Noggles. The pronunciation won't create any controversy whatsoever. And to be fair, Clothis, which I thought was pretty clear and ubiquitous across the board, um, Giglio, Giglio, uh, the Ponza streamer, who was streaming Ponza nonstop for like weeks on end, calls it like clothies which just to me is i was like what the hell but he's consistent no no it's got to be a mountain enlightened puppet you take a picture of a mountain with the word nexus written in black sharpie and signed by the head judge that's that's the play Okay, so am I grinding myself? Probably. I suppose since I'm going to play... No, not this turn. Remember GP's chat? Yeah, we all remember GP's fondly. <clears throat> I have a playable breach in my graveyard. So it would be wrong of me not to just jam this breach, right? Because if it resolves, I just win. So, breach. You must counter this every turn. Cloth is his name. Bogle is an actual mythological thing already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, that, that's true. Clothies sounds plural. I mean... Clothis to me, the thing about Clothis to me is that Clothis just sounds more Greek. Don't ask me why. It just does. 
Archimedes Charm. Okay, well, that that's good that it wasn't a force of negation. Um, I can use Emery here to draw a... Um, use Emery here. How's it actually pronounced? I don't know. They, they used to do pronunciation guides, uh, but they don't do those anymore for magic. Because uh, there, there was a Kamigawa pronunciation guide. There was... Uh, yeah, the world building team used to be... Used to be on that stuff, but uh, not anymore. Um, don't know why. All right, what's on top? Because I would like to find a Croxa. All right, uh, I'm gonna play an EE on zero just to mill myself. Because we can still play uh, Crocs. Oh, no, we can't. I tap badly. Shoot. Well, hopefully I don't mill one, and then I don't get embarrassed. Oh, we didn't. Oh, thank God. Great. Super. The, clay, the K is actually silent. Lothis. Low thighs? Low thighs. She's got thick thighs, but they low. I would have liked EE on three as insurance against OP casting Nexus into Cryptic or some other blue-green nonsense. I mean, it kills my Luris, but I guess you're probably right. And then I immediately drew a redundant Luris, so you're definitely right. Um, yeah. Well... It's okay, because we're getting beaten to four here, so if they have the Nexus, we're kind of in trouble already anyway. So, hoping for no Nexus. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on now. Come on. That's six? Hard cash Shark Typhoon? I can beat that. Damn it. Why did they tap like that? They tapped like six very definitely. Pause, 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 seven. You're a prophet. Fair enough. So Ashiok seems good here. Um, in theory, I want Thoughtseize, but I don't think that I actually do. I really wish Jiggy was around. Because I'm, I'm boarding out of Lazav. Top three cards you hate playing against. Uh, Lavadart, uh, Monastery Swiss Spear, and maybe Teferi Time Raveler. Probably Teferi Time Raveler. Oh, Eidolon of the Great Revel. Yeah. Lavadar, Monastery, Swiss Bar, Swiss Beer, and Eidolon of the Great Revel. They all go in the same deck. Uh, not always. No, no, they don't. You don't. You don't play Lavadar with Eidolon. Those are two different decks. Jeskai Prowess. No, you don't play Eidolon with with Lavadart. You, you can take the, the Teferi out of the consideration. I mean Teferi and Eidolon would be rude, but uh but uh no they yeah they don't they don't go in the same deck. I know what I detest. <laughs> And it is those cards. All right, that's no good. Oh, man. Uh, they multi six. All right. Yeah, all right. Ship a land, ship a grinding station. I long used to shoot planeswalkers. I never 
played Moto when that was possible. And I think by the time I was playing competitively in formats with Planeswalkers, that was no longer a thing. But I'm sure it's true. Uh, Chandra Torture Defiance is the one that I remember shooting Planeswalkers. That's the card I remember that that the uh, the rules change on uh, Planeswalker. No, no, no. I'm old too. I just missed a swath of uh, play. So like, I definitely played with that rule set, but um, idle on shooting Planeswalkers was just nothing. It did not come out. It, it just didn't come up while I was playing during that era. Whereas Chandra Torch of Defiance being stopped from shooting um from shooting planeswalkers that was real that was a big deal that that changed uh i would like another black so we'll play lazav this turn into croxa next turn um they're not likely to have mystical dispute here can't force it Lately, Mystical Dispute has been really tilting me, mostly in Pioneer. Well, I think that's the format that gets more play in, um, for whatever reason. The best thing is main deck Mystical Dispute. Well, that's the format for that, right? Pioneer is the format where, like, lots of decks are main decking Mystical Dispute. Because their counter magic is generally pretty poor. So even at its worst, it's actually reasonable. Because your other options are the supreme useless mediocrity of Quench. They just drew Nexus. Whew. That is that is a dead draw. Um, the supreme awful mediocrity that is Quench. And then uh, the, the excellent card, which is Sensor. Well, Counterspell could be in Modern Horizons too. I don't think it will be, but it could be. They just missed on their Explorer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Gotta turn this dude into a Crocs. That's the plan. I honestly assume that they don't have a way to stop me. Oh, they discarded their Nexus. Fair, fair. Did they miss their land again? Looks like it. Alrighty. Hey, what's up, Blitz? Uh... I know you had a rough go in the challenge today, but uh, I'm glad you can join us for, for some of this. Uh, the Teamer League was um, something, so... Hey, look, I got a Croxa. Any responses? No? It's a two-turn clock. It's going to kill you real quick. Real quick. Smash. Enlightened Muppet's been here. It's been hiding. Sure. Growth spiral more than meets the eye. Discards factor fiction. Fair enough. Uh, do I want to just draw a card here? Yeah, because I could make a land drop. Nope. All right. All right. Okay. Land drop. Mm, that's pretty good. All right. No cryptic, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. No, no, no. Stop it. Nope. Well, shit. Let's 
Stop watching Cherry's stream. Too many brews. Are brews bad? No. No, it's the it's the Twitch chat. It's the Twitch chat that's wrong. Alright. Uh I think we're playing Luris into Bobble here. It's not the best, but I'll take it. Twitch chat loves brews. I mean, I hope so. That was from Family Guy, right? Ouch. Dan. Dan Bope's hurting my soul. Oh, God. I don't know what to do now. Very upset. It was The Simpsons. This is The Simpsons. It's uh, it's Principal Skinner on The Simpsons. Bob's Burgers. No, you idiot. It was from Archie. You know that one with the hot mom? Man, I love that show. It's pretty. It's pretty good, you know? Now, now, now. Bob's Burgers is the one with the hot mom. Frisky Dingo. I think it was from Undergrads. Thank you very much. Undergrads. It's been too long since The Simpsons. That's fair. It's fair. All right. So they took the Luris hit. Um, I think I'll play Croxa. No, I just played the Bobble with Luris. I should have played Croxa with Luris and then played Lazav for my hand. Um too late for that now <clears throat> i assume they're about to play factor fiction so <sighs> would really like to i guess playing croxa pressures them into interacting although it eats my graveyard so i don't really want to do that let's just play lazav first because I played the Bobble, I won't be able to also play Emery, but we could just play Grinding Station instead. So that's fine. Also, this ability is not a sorcery, which is weird to me. Don't know why. Uh, okay with mana. Grinding Station! <laughs> Grinding Station goes burr. Uh, yeah, sure. Pass the turn. Oh my god, it's fact or fiction. Who could have... Wow! Um, that. Have at it. Man, did you guys see that flip? Puts Shark Typhoon and Archmage's Charm in their graveyard. So that means Archmage's Charm and Mystical Dispute are in their hand. Neither of which deal with any of my permanents in a relevant way. So we're going to pull the Jiggy Wiggy approach and go after them on the board. So they need to have Cryptic. Sure. Puts Cryptic on top. Well, none of the cards I gave them draw them a card for two mana. So they need something that draws them a card for two mana, like Growth Spiral. That said, if they have that, we just breach them out. So that seems good. So first things first, Lazav, the Multifarious, becomes a copy of Croxa. I'd like to go to combat. Okay. They do have a Shark Typhoon, but... Uh, so I guess they could make a 1-1? Draw the cryptic, 
And then what? They have a cryptic? Why'd you let me put my trigger on the stack? Misplay? What is happening here? Sure. You make a 1-1, one, one, you put the cryptic in your hand, so you still have Archmage's Charm available. Okay. Discards, Force of Negation. Yeah, that feels good. Also, I, well, I don't know if I made a mistake there, but. So let's play Croxa with Luris. Right. And then we're gonna unearth our Croxa. Fair enough. Mystical dispute, right? So they get to hold on to their Archmage's Charm this way. Uh, no. Burn Earth. Target Crocs. Get back out here, buddy. Get him good. Uh, I'd like to keep, what? Oh, this, this card's name is Lazav the Multifarious. So I don't have to make an extra choice. Excellent. Did I create the Serum Visions podcast logo? Hell no, buddy. Hell no. No, no, no. Not even close. That is uh, Brian Madden's wonderfully talented wife. It's really good. That's why I'm, I'm giving you like the, 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 the vehement hell no. Because that, that logo is a banger. It's really good. So, yeah. And Brian has a playmat of it, actually. All right. Uh, combat. Tap my stuff. Okay. So they would like to draw the fact or fiction off the top of their deck. It's truly amazing. The mat looks insane. Yeah, it does look gorgeous. There has to be chat lethal somewhere. So... I think, okay, so they're going to go cryptic, tap, draw. Uh, they're putting fact or fiction in their hand. They have three mana up, and the last card in their hand is Archmage's Charm, I believe. Um, we've got double breach, so I think we just win. <clears throat> so, wait, I've got double breach anyway. I can play breach, and then I can lure us breach. So it'll be really cute if they if they counter this. Did I lose a match already? No, this is the first match. Okay, good. What you got? What do you got? And those stop me? Alright. Play Bobble. <laughs> We've got Brain Freeze at home. Okay, uh, so I wanna go always yes. That's how I like to do this. Uh, I would like to introduce the theme song of this combo. So this trigger can resolve, that's fine. Uh, play Emery from my hand. Uh, 
that right there, that was the mistake that lost them the game. If they countered my Emery there, I think they would have been able to defuse my combo. Does this deck play Bolt? Uh, I don't think so. Um, some of the other versions of these decks would play Galvanic Blast. Uh, I've never seen one play Bolt before. Um, but it is possible. Oops. No. Damn it. 25 cards left, so I'm going to have an awful lot of mana. I've got more than enough cards in my graveyard to uh, cast the Thassa's Oracle twice at the end. If they countered Emery, you could cast Croxa with Luris and probably win the game. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could quote-unquote bolt them to death with uh, with uh, Croxas. So that's true. All right, I would like to pop out my graveyard so that this is consu- uh Oh, no, 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 uh, I'm still okay. Hold on. It's a good thing I have this uh, this, this uh, Mishra's Bauble in my hand. Sorry, I got distracted by chat. Um, I'm gonna be over here comboing for a second, people, because I don't wanna lose this. So, uh, bear with. Reading chat while doing this combo is, is, is basically not something that you can do so apologies wasn't croxa the protagonist of kingdom hearts no that's kiora need combo music so uh i i had saber dance at one point but i was starting to get uh the, uh, the the DMCA claims on it. Um, the little clip of Powerhouse from that episode of The Simpsons doesn't seem to bother anyone, but I, uh, I I don't really have the capability to just like play it on a loop. I'd love to. That's something I would love to do, but uh, I can't do it. Blitz, blitz, blitz. I was honestly saying you could just cast the Archive Trap because I thought you knew the horror of Roiling Vortex. It's not my fault that you didn't. I, I'm, I did think that you knew because Roiling Vortex is the kind of card that just beats the ever-living sh out of a lot of the decks I play. Yeah, but like it, I just didn't think about like people who aren't me wouldn't see roiling vortex and curl up into a little ball right but that's my experience with roiling vortex oh no oh no you oh you got me so good game over man i mean it would be if underworld breach was a reasonable card but it's not <laughs> Good play, though. Good play. I knew it was coming. I just... I don't... All right. Did you 3-0 into 3-3? Because when I came in, you were 3-1. <laughs> I get it. I still get to draw through Narset. 3-0 into 3-4. Oh, man. That's, that's rough. I mean, like... It has to happen to someone, but oh, that's rough, dude. If you didn't know, dot, 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 you can use hashtag record or uh, exclamation point record on others. What? I don't know what you mean. I, I literally, I, okay. Uh, what does that do? I guess it shows me their record.
Right. Apparently you didn't finish your challenge. Neat. Well, thank you. You're educational about that bot you made. So we're shipping that one. Opponent kept their seven, so that's not the best. But this seems pretty good. I guess I'm pitching the unearth in this matchup. Mm, I'll pitch the Luris because Emery could mill a Luris or something. Fetching, grabbing watery grave. Drawing a bobble. Bobble is great. Play the babble. Play the max. Play the emery. Please do not counter it. Please. Opponent. Oppo no. No. Thank you. I, I appreciate you, opponent. I do. Whee! Hey, I can put two Emerys into play. I like that. I like that a lot. Well, I think we might just do that. And draw a bunch of cards. Blue to Delta. That can stay right there. Right the hell there. I like my card draw engine that I have. This This feels good. Feels good against the green blue deck. I feel like they're not going to be able to do much about it. Wait a minute. If I'm allowed to have two Emery's in play, do you think I can play three Emery's? Dan, as far as I've seen, you've coded everything right, so I'm not really sure what... Uh... What you're on about. You can play Mirror Gallery. Well, to, to be fair, um, we could play Sakashima the Imposter. Like, that's the card that would legitimately... You've had your fair share of bugs. That doesn't mean you didn't code things correctly. That just means... You know, coding is hard. I mean, maybe it does mean you, you didn't code things correctly. I, I think it, it doesn't mean you didn't code any one thing correctly, right? I mean, I don't really... I, like, I, I have done a tiny, tiny amount of coding. And generally speaking, as far as was my experience, when things break, it's not because you made one mistake. It's that the totality of what you did didn't didn't play out. All right, uh, that. Actually, I put it. I should, probably should have put the Aether Gust with with uh, literally nothing else, huh? But whatever. So they put, they took the Aether Gust. Fair. Aether Gust is going to be really good against my Ashiok. I guarantee it. Hope <laughs> he has some mana. They do. They do. Uh, if they want to cast Nexus of Fate, they will have a three mana rebate still available. All right. How, how um actually are they? Do they think that I care? Singularity works the opposite way I'm thinking of. What? Okay, now you let it resolve. Sure. Oh, they could actually draw Nexus there. I hope they don't. Very efficient use of their mana. Okay, we can bobble ourselves. 
Crocs on top. No, I think I would like that to stay right where it is. Cool. All right. If I find a spring leaf drum, I could actually EE -E for four, which is kind of nuts. So let's hit their hand first. Bang. Gust. Sure. Put it on top. Hmm. I need to fetch. Can I mill myself before I fetch without play, uh, paying any mana? Nah, I should have fetched in response. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. It's probably not fine. Because they're going to have a piece of counter magic that I wasn't expecting for, for the Ashiok here. That's okay. Oh, right. They have Mystical Dispute in their deck. Well, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere by not playing things, and I have two extra draws per turn. So, sure, cryptic. I assume this is just counter draw. Do you have an unearth in the yard? No. Croxa, no. Which is why I really wish it had been on top just now. But what are we going to do? God, I, seriously? So rude. Opponent is incredibly rude. I mean, they're playing well, so good for them. But, you know, rude. Don't appreciate it. Bobble you. Play the bobble. We draw the cards, opponent has the mana, this seems fair. Uh, we'll find out. I guess we're definitely going to see which one is better, right? This is a hard cast Shark Typhoon. That's going to kill me very quickly. Well, shoot. Oh no, we have an EE. -E. Huh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe this was a misplay by our opponent. We will soon see. Okay, so first thing, let's see if we can bait some action. How do we make four colors? Spring leaf drum. Uh, we will play Luris. If Luris gets countered, we can play a Croxa and then copy Luris with the Croxa. Also, we have an Enter. So we have lots, lots of ways to do the thing that I want to do. Really? Wow. Okay, so that means... I think that they probably have Mystical Dispute as a piece of counter magic in their hand. No. Interesting. Uh, I will throw that in my graveyard. Thank you. Uh, sure. It's on top. Well, I mean, if they factor fiction right now, we're going to get hit for four. If they also have growth spiral, we get hit for six. And if they also have nexus, we could die. Charm. Okay, charm is three. If they have Nexus, I will die. Exactly. Um, so, really hoping they don't have Nexus. Really ho wishing that I could have played that Mox Saber. Yeah, I have no, I have no interaction now. Fact of Fiction, Castle Vantress. Oh, because they get an untap later. But uh, they'll untap with seven mana. So it has to be the top card, and they have to have Growth Spiral. Interesting. Haven't seen Ice Fang Quaddle Quadl from them yet. Puts one top, one bottom. Uh-oh. Green, green. Explore. That could do it. Sanctuary, okay. For 
charm. But you're not drawing a card now. Ice Fang might be a sideboard card. No, 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 no. I, Ice, Ice Fang is a main deck card in these decks if they choose to play it, which lots of them don't. I just prefer it because I love Ice Fang Kotal. Quaddle. Okay, so pop my EE. -E. Bang. Hmm. It's almost definitely a waste of mana, huh? Oh well. Top card of my library is Verdant Catacombs. Not what I want. EE -E for six. That's a plan. That is a plan. It's not my plan, but it's a plan. Copy Emery. Play Bobble. That is, in fact, the Kappa, the Kappa face, right? I know, it took me a long time to learn as well. God, I hate passing the turn here. Use Amber for white from Luris to make E for four. There you go. Now you're cooking with propane. That's what I should have done. Well, that looks promising. Vilvantress. Okay. It still won't resolve. I mean, pressuring their counter magic is a really good idea, though. Like, playing something that they feel like they need to counter is important. Um, and they know the combo I'm playing, so... They're they're gonna feel kind of crappy about it too. This this sounds bad. This looks like a nexus. Luckily, we don't die to it. I mean, I say luckily. I mean, I plan to not die to it. Fact or fiction? Sure. Don't find nexus. Don't do it. I know what it looks like. Stop. Hey, they are playing Ice Fan Codal. Sick. All right. These are your piles. Enjoy. All right. You already untapped, but okay. You don't have enough mana anymore to uh, to play Nexus. Okay. What are you doing? Drawing a Misty, sure. What? Okay, whatever. Kill your shark. Mm, probably should have fetched. Yikes. That is not what I was looking for. Okay, uh, let's go Emery play Mox Amber. Then we're going to play another Emery to try to mill. No, 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 no. That's really bad. Oh crap. All right. We may we may have just been able to win the game and I lost the game by misclicking. T please don't time it versus the next. Well, it doesn't matter anymore cuz I just messed up and I used my Luris cast on the wrong card because shit moves around while you're clicking on it. So I mean, it's on me. That's on me. I just, oof. What, what a way to lose. 
I suppose... No, I, mm, yeah, no, I made a mistake and then I kept making mistakes and now we're in big trouble. Uh, I'm gonna attack with Luris because if they kill my Luris, uh, I just get to cast an earth and bring it back and then cast an EE for, uh, for, uh, for zero, which is what I want here. <clears throat> so this looks good for them, but it's actually not. Just moto things, people. Just moto things. And Dan Bobes, if you ever think that you... Damn it. If you ever... I need to stop talking. But if you ever think that you actually have problems with how you've coded anything, just look at your good friend Moto. Moto knows how to be badly coded. Well... That's bad news. <laughs> That's exceptionally bad news. Moto has features, not bugs. You're talking about Arena. Good lord. Yeah, they want to they want to scry here. Except no they don't cuz the top card of their deck is is factor fiction. They just said it. The software team is secretly Bethesda. Yikes. Shots shots fired. Vantresses again. But you know what the top card is. You're only gaining one card deeper, which I can only assume means you don't have Nexus in hand. Wow, they don't. Holy crap. Okay. Well, um, this thing. Somebody stop me. Oh, really? Sure. Mill you. Play EE -E on zero. And I'm just passing the turn. I wish Cockatrice were called Quasi Moto. Wow, that's quality. Feels like a missed opportunity. That's because it is a missed opportunity. Okay, unfortunately for me, we're now playing the time game, which I hate. I'll take your four. Wait, no, 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 ah, uh, no, ah, uh, it's not too late. Whew. Was not expecting them to attack me. That's insanity. Okay, my, my rec opponent should time out while trying to win this game. Should. Fact or fiction? That's a choice.
Yay, we won. The people in Jaws just needed an EE. Uh, the people in Shark Sharknado definitely needed one, that's for sure. We won. R2 timeout decks won. All right. I'm definitely playing one more match. Opponent says, wow, all caps, as I was clicking out of that, by the way. Uh, I wish I'd gotten to show you guys the wow, all caps. My bad. My bad. I am not trying to shame my opponent here. Clearly a good person. Clearly playing a good game. But between the two of us, that game was miserable. But as predicted, we did manage to not time out against the Wilderness Rec player. I have four matches left. I am very tired. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play all of them tonight. can safely assume I am not going to play all of them tonight. But I said, hey there, good, ha good luck and have fun uh, to my opponent. And they said, hi, thanks, you also. Where the hell are you, Blitz, that you are just like, don't worry, I'll stay up until infinity. Are you West Coast, Best Coast? I feel like you're not. I think you're from my time zone. Mountain? Mountain Goblin Wow, that's a cool goblin guide. Nice. Nice. Well, uh Hmm. Playing these out in case of Eidolon. And uh gonna bobble. Vernon Catacomb is not my favorite, but I will take it. Roy, are you mastering the rabble? Hey, we got a draw. I like it. I like it. Don't idle on. I hate that card. I will die. Light up the stage with Goblin Guide. That is unexpected. Interesting. Well, nobody say we don't have a sideboard for this. Nobody tell me we didn't pack for this matchup. Breach. Mm. So we get to nail their hand pretty hard here, which is not the worst. Because we play Croxa. Croxa's in play, we'll tap for an extra black. Discards mountain. Haha, -ha, I got a free lightning bolt. Will you discard another mountain? Can you? One assumes they can. And luckily, they're going to proactively play this lightning bolt this turn, or they'll lose it. So we get to go Lazav, copy Croxa. Most likely, which feels pretty good. I stacked my abilities, right? Yeah, I did. Good. I'm sorry. It's just burn player going slowly. Discards Searing Blaze. Sick. Sick. You're a sick, sick person, opponent. You're a sick human being. They just bolted me. Can you believe it? What kind of animal... Are you aware they played a one mana spell that by the end of this game will have dealt six damage? Six. 
Unreal. Oh, cool. No, we just died now. Never mind. Dying on turn three. Just modern things. Just dying to the completely fair red deck on turn three. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your friends are going to love this format. All right, so this seems not great. Uh, spring leaf. Don't you know all the burn players double Q on MTGO defeating the purpose of fast leagues? What? Doesn't that mean they're playing two fast leagues at once? Oh, that's the reason they were playing slowly. Got it. I see what you mean. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's fast for them, right? Because they're doing they're doing at least probably 1.5 times the the magic right and if they're winning a reasonable percentage of the time then i know i'm taking something that you didn't didn't mean to be quite as literal and, and making it goofy and literal it's hard for me with text i i always just read it as is it needs more kappas that's what i'm saying uh sure jeez. Uh, could go well quickly could go incredibly poorly All right, i'm gonna keep it it's not great but i'm gonna keep it um i think there's an island in this deck I'm like 100 percent sure jiggy put an island in this deck nope Taking an extra two damage here, which sucks, but hopefully it works out. I had a few burn opponents go down to 10 minutes lately, even with five turns game max. Yikes. EE -E on top. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. All right. Bloodiest of crypts. Play Emery. This is the one matchup where I wish we were playing Teamer more than anything else on the planet. Because I love playing Uro against Burn. No. Stop it, Moto. Stop trying to kill me. Next time you do that, I may have an aneurysm. I swear the next time I cast EE for zero with floating mana, I'm going to just, just lose. They have smashed the smithereens on top. Well, they can't play that and kill my Emery. So that's something. But, and I milled a Lurus, which is a 3-2 lifelink. They just smash. Smash the EE. Wild. Grinding station on top. Woof. Okay. Well, cast Luris. No, hold on. Cast grinding station. Cast a bobble. Okay. 
think we can just win next turn. So as long as we don't literally die. It's on top. Mountain. Smash this. If they had a second smash to smithereens, we won't take any damage from it. So. And likely they will have to point a burn spell at Luris. So. No, we'll need one more mana if we want to win, right? No. No, we'll be okay. Okay, cool. Cool. We should be okay here. Circulates. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Breach on top. Didn't even need it, but okay. Bolt me, sure. I'm at two. We did it! Uh, combo. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, play bobble. Trigger. Always yes. Um, save target. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Bubble. Bubble. We're doing it. It's working. It's working. Hold on. Hold on. We need it. And we found the amber. Oh, opponent says, am I dead? Yes. I will tell them yes. Kind of thought so, not sure how. Thassa's Oracle. Okay, now we gotta win turn three, or tur uh, game three on the draw, which. Yay! <laughs> Very. Oh, so the, the team are... So, yeah, I mean, so all the versions of Grinding Breach always use Underworld Breach to play the Thassa's Oracle, right? Because Underworld Breach doesn't care what kind of card it is, because Underworld Breach is an incredibly unbalanced, broken-in-half magic card. Fan of my work? My opponent knows who I am? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that, like, 
Like, you don't expect Underworld Breach to do literally everything, right? But it, it does. It just does. The only thing it doesn't do is play lands somehow. I really feel like Underworld Breach probably had a line on it before that said, um, until, like, during this turn, uh, any card that would go into your graveyard goes into exile. And they just cut it for time. They were like, no, 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 we don't need that shit on there. Listen, listen, are you listening? Listen, we don't got time for that. Opponent keeps their seven. Mine's pretty good. Other than the fact that I have to shock turn one if I want to cast a Samory on turn one. Wait, I can't anyway. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, also, wait. My hand's, like, perfect, right? Never mind. So we can go turn one drum, turn two Emery grinding station, turn three kill. And I only have to shock once to do it. Hmm. Hopefully they don't have Smash the Smithereens. That would actually beat me up here. That's a yikes. the other spell a double yikes no it's not good if it's a light up the stage though it might be double yikes seems likely did we have to shock at all unfortunately yes there's no basic island in this deck we checked last game when i was fetching <clears throat> rift bolt so probably dead, huh? All right. Oh, that, that, that helps. Does it? No, it doesn't. Well, it might. Super odd. Yeah. Jiggy knows what he's doing, but, uh. Mm. This protects me from a smash, though. Mm. I wonder if I could have won the game with Breach this turn. Play Breach, play the Mox Amber, play the Grindings. Man, I think I could have turned two here. If I had thought about it for an extra half a second, I think I could have just won. Crazy. I think I just straight up wasn't expecting that. But I'm pretty sure I could have won there. Man, that's that's tough. Well, the Rift Bolt means we're almost definitely dead, but maybe they shoot down Emery in an attempt to not lose. Maybe they cast a Smash to Smithereens on one of my artifacts in an attempt to not lose. No, they're going upstairs. I think I'm probably just very, very dead here. Which, again, they had to turn three kill, so don't feel bad about it. So did we have a turn two kill? I believe we did. I believe we did. Once I die, I'll sit here for a second and puzzle it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're not dead. Maybe we're just going to two. I don't believe it, but it's possible. Why? It's an instant. Brutal. All right, we're going to sit here for a second and figure this out. So, so this turn, we could play Breach, sack Bloodstained Mire, 
Right. So then we'd have. Uh, thanks for the follow. Has has Zandhan? Yeah, we 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 had the uh, we had the turn two kill there, and I just totally shanked it. Oh, you're my opponent. Hey, we we could have won, and I didn't notice until a half a second too late. So there's we we had a turn two kill here because he didn't kill my Emery. So what we should have done is fetch with the Bloodstained Mire, played out the Underworld Breach, right? Because we milled this other Mox Amber, we can once we have the Breach in play, we can play it and then start winning. So I actually, yeah, it wasn't even hard. It wasn't even a hard line. I just didn't even realize a turn two kill was possible. Hey, Speed, we just uh, shanked a match. But I, I just really didn't notice that a, a turn two kill is possible. And uh, and it was. Deck super complex. It's not even about the deck being super complex. It's just that I didn't realize that it was possible. So I wasn't looking for it. Um. Which is a valuable lesson for everyone all the time is like you should always be like really just assuming that there is a way you can win. Man, Dan Bobes is the man. This deck has legs on buying Croxas. Listen, you don't need to have this deck have legs for buying Croxas, but yes, it definitely has some legs here. No, gr grinding Breach in some variety is going to be a... De oh, it's Mortkaiser. Well, his hand is potentially excellent. <laughs> 20 tickets deck posted on Reddit today. Nice. It's, uh, I mean, you turn three killed me twice. So... Our win is Grinding Station, Underworld Breach, and Thassa's Oracle. Okay, so Mordekaiser will be on uh, 80 card Niv Mizzet. So, depending on his current build, we might be in really good shape, but who knows? He can play anything in that deck. Um, just pass here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically always Thassa's Oracle. You could play a Storm Kill, but. No, 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 no. This is this is Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser plays Niv, right? I mean, I'm sure he has not played Niv. Why does this deck have 61 cards? It was designed by the great Arun Jiggywiggy Singh, and uh, he always plays 61 cards for luck. All right. So let's crack the star. See what I draw. I guess I'm okay to set up for a kill next turn. I don't know. Do you think we should? I don't know. Yeah, it's for luck. It's tradition. Jiggy Wiggy plays 61 cards for tradition. Mord has two trophies last week with incarnation. Enigmatic incarnation? Is that is that what we're doing here? I guess we're about to find out. That's a tilt. I mean, we could beat that, but. Yes. Enigmatic incarnation 80 cards. I'm just upset that Mordekaiser has uh, abandoned Niv. I refuse to believe it, but I'm sure it's true. Uh, okay. Land. This was Bobble. Like to see what my opponent's drawing. Alright. 
Omen of the Sea. Sure. And we're going to cycle one of these unearths at the end of their turn. So, it's a good draw. Like your opponent's deck, I, I assume so. So hard to be a big brewer. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm, I wouldn't even consider myself a big brewer, but uh, Aspiring Spike, I mean, if you listen to him talk, he just loves magic so freaking much. And he never, uh, he just thinks about it all the time. And he's uh, always brewing, always grinding. So it's definitely not, uh, not for the faint of heart. Okay. I think I can win this turn. In fact, I'm almost sure of it because I, no, I don't have, I don't have another Mox in my graveyard. That's what I needed to win. Hmm. Croxa into Unearth. Oh, uh, Croxa into Lazav is what we're doing here. And then next turn we can hammer their hand. Yep. Card power level synergy, the meta. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why you want to start learning formats um, by playing established decks and learning the interactions and synergies in your deck. Am I dead? No. My opponent asked me if they were dead. They're not dead. I wish they were dead, but they're not. Play Lazav. But more mana is what I need. No, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Wow. That is, uh, their hand is abundant. Well, that's not good. Gee, I wonder what they'll take. Well played, opponent. You found the line. So three cards in hand, let's go Delta. We'll do this thing. We'll do this thing, smash. Crocs are smash. Cool. I like that, like that. I like it, I love it. And I want some more of it. Um, Speaking of wanting more of it, uh, Unearth Croxa. Uh, I don't have to choose which one to keep. That's how good I am. They have an Uro in their graveyard. That's okay. Because in theory, we're going to kill them. In theory. In theory, communism works. In theory. No. I need to guess this card. All right. Forgot that Breach was still modern legal. Yeah, I know. It's banned in Pioneer. It's banned in um, Legacy. Somehow modern is just powerful enough that Breach is allowed to be legal. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. It's like the fact that Renin 6 is banned in Legacy, but Oko's banned in, in modern. Oh, you just saved my... You just saved my Lazav from my EE. Thank you.
Wait, I don't have enough mana to win here. I thought I did. With the Lazav in play, I was close, except I would have killed it with the E anyway. So that wasn't going to work. Restricted in Vintage, yeah. Wild. So, pop the E, get my card back, cut down on some of their value. But I can't play the Zav anymore. But I'm not dead on board. Okay. Sorry, I can't play the Zav this turn. Can't escape the Croxa. So we just go crack EE. -E. Play grinding station. And pass the turn. All right, Mord. Kill me. Kill me! Bolt. Time Rattler. Sure. I need one mana to guarantee the win. Heliod. So I think we didn't make it because we didn't hit another Mox Amber and because I don't have a legend in play. Was that a Watchman reference? Yes, it was. I didn't know it was for a while. I don't I don't think I can do it. So I could play the breach and I can grind through my whole deck, but I can't start going mon mana positive without I think we're toast. Draw is just a little bit clunky. I'm at four. Their attack just 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 kills me. And I have no, no way to put two creatures into play. I'm also close to being able to kill them by playing Breach, Croxa, Croxa. But I'm one mana short on that one too. Woof. Play Brining, ah, play Breach and Station. We have a few outs. There's a chance it works. I think it's 0%. There's just no way to go up on mana after that. I could play Breach, play Chromatic Star, crack the star for blue, and if I immediately draw a land, I can keep going. If I draw an Emery, I can win. Pretty sure that's the out. Can you find the other Amber? Well, I don't have a legend in play. I need to find an Emery that I can cast for one mana. I have plenty of zeros. Uh, now I can do it, right? N uh, no, because I can't. I can't put more cards in my graveyard. Ah. Uh, Play Breach and Unearth Croxa two times. Shit. You're right. Ah. Excellent line. Excellent line. Uh, Armstrong two. You are you are the hero. go game two 
I will always miss the kill them line. Remember that. I will always miss the kill them line. And I literally mentioned that I was trying to do it, but I couldn't think of how to do it. And Unearth was sitting right there. So someone asked if we played Lightning Bolt before. And I guess that's the answer. We play Unearth and we play Croxa in a grindy deck. So that's our Lightning Bolt. All right, so Ashiox in uh, EE seems really good. So let's just go down one of these. Uh, one Luris and one uh, probably a star over a drum. No, we'll go down the drum. All right, let's do it. We had the win there and I shanked it, but the deck had the win and that's good to know. Uh, sure. Turn to Lazav the Multifarious, you say. Excellent. Sprawl. But I don't have any engineer explosives in my hand yet. I would like to have an engineer explosives in my hand, but I don't have one. Okay, that's it's a bit much. You know what? We could kill them on turn four, assuming they don't bounce my Lazav. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a good one. I mean, they could have just had rest in peace, but this was way more brutal. So I'm glad it happened this way. Well, maybe we'll just mill ourselves, hit Croxa, and start beating them down with it. Yay! I mean, it's absolutely a big deal. My hand is not very good, and our plan to win was to... No, we're, we're, we're screwed. We're screwed now. Jeez. Oh, man. That was not okay. Just, yep. Yeah. Oh, man. The worst part for me is that my opponent's deck is way more up the alley of the, the thing I would like to do. This is what I would like to be doing to people. Not having to click through or, or like, crush my brain trying to find these uh, Underworld Breach lines. They're even playing Urian, the best companion. Alright, just done. Just dead.
All right. Well, on the plus side at this pace, we might finish this league at a reasonable time. Three Lazav seems like a few too many. I agree, Mord. I agree. I kept a hand with two, and then we scried to the top, and there was a breach, and I was like, well, I guess we could just win on turn uh, four, but you always had the interaction. And I actually missed a turn two kill against the burn deck last match. So, um... This, this deck is very demanding. So I just played Teamer Breach before this one. We punted all over the place, and we're just... Uh, I mean, that that was not a punt. That was just a really rough game. Uh, keep I keep getting these one-land openers. Should play Incarnation. Enigmatic Incarnation, the deck you're playing? I'm upset you're not on Niv anymore. No, dude, I was literally saying there I would rather be playing your deck than what I'm playing. Because having to go through Grinding Breach is really, really tedious. Um, turn three enigmatic get rallier yeah and then you get your lands back or into Luris play back the omen what you get back the omens what omens you haven't mentioned any omens so turn two omen into wait what Okay, but you have to you have to say more of these things because you didn't play half of these things in the in the match we played. No, no, but you, you so you turn one sprawl, turn two omen or something, turn three enigmatic. Yeah, yeah, I see how it goes. But you wait, but you you have to have the yeah right enigmatic sacks that yeah yeah cool. That's good. It's good. That's excellent. It's very cool. Well, this hand sucks against their deck that I probably i'm gonna have a rough time against uh i guess i'm just gonna play this e on zero yeah all right well at least sack with an yeah yeah i figured it out that's very cool oh oh we're not dead oh we're not dead i love not being dead I am so excited about this now. We might lose worse, but at least we're not dead. Whew. Whew. Our hand is still awful, and we still have no real plan for this game, but at least we're not dead on turn three. All right, so we're hoping they don't remand here. No remand. Counter it. Counter it hard. Mana leak. Thirst? Condescend. Perfect. Thank you. I can't pay for that. Put it in my graveyard. It's where I want it. And she's back. I, yeah, you know what? Uh, I can't actually tell you, Roy, but I do know that during the days, the heydays, the the sort of plethora of sure, when um, what is the what is the uh, cleansing wildfire? There was Jeskai cleansing wildfire and a bunch of other stuff that was like ripping around. That was like really bad for Green Tron. Somehow. Blue Tron was the one that was able to play through, which I do not understand. Blue Tron slaps. It's it's very cool. It's very cool. It's nowhere near as horrifyingly obnoxious as Green Tron too. That's all. That's all I care about. Still need to buy my Antiquities Tron lands for it. Oh, are you? Hold on. You talking about these babies? Where are they? There they are. Talking about these babies. OK. 
Trinket Mage. Alright. You got a Trinket Mage. Matt, sure. Uh, opponent, I don't know what you think you're playing against, but you might have just died. We've got a grinding station in the graveyard. We are one Mox Amber from winning. Bang. Actually, we can still do it, right? Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Shoot. I mean, Mord, I feel like that's modern right now in general. Just every deck, when they get the perfect start, they're unbeatable, right? Like, it, it basically doesn't matter what you're doing. As long as you're not playing, you know, eight discard spells. All right. So I could play Grinding Station with my lands, grind myself, and if I hit, no, it just doesn't matter, huh? I guess I should play this out. Grind myself, sack, EE, -E. see what I get. Because depending on what they... Uh, of course, I flipped two Mox Ambers now. So if the payoff card in their hand is Ugin, I think we will win still. If it's Karn, we can probably win still. And if it's Little Karn, we are super duper ultra mega dead. Oh, Ulamog. Oh, that's much worse than everything else. Oh, Mindslaver. No, that's also much worse than everything else. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. That's fine. Well, we finally hit a Thoughtseize matchup. Yeah, we whiffed on one land there, and then we died. But we have a plan. Oh, yes, Beef. <laughs> that Mind Slaver lock comes in and it comes hard. Oh, baby. It's all good, though. All good. Oh, yeah. Bonum Molds to six. Love to see it. All right. That is a very speculative hand. I think they really wish they had that condescend. Wow. Okay. Um, pretty good draw.
One repeal down. There's the island. So two unknowns. Rip a land, easy. Nope. Hmm. I uh, I sequence that wrong. If they have another continent to send, they will uh, they'll be able to counter this. It doesn't really matter, but it. Oh, sure. I suppose. They are digging for land, so. Discards Urza's mine and takes three damage. What? Did they somehow draw two mines in those cards? Yes, they did. Okay. All right. So they have O Stone. They probably have Thirst for Knowledge here, which is fine. Could have another condescend. Why do they keep overpaying for that? Thanks for the follow, Batso90. Interesting. Chromatic Star. Playing around Simeon Spirit Guide. They could be, Thrash Captain. They could be. No, come on. Ah. Damn it, Bluetron. Spreading seas. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Oh, come on. Mm. Wow. Holy crap. So. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> that's it. I guess. Because the, they have O Stone in their hand still. Brutality. Can tripped right into. Oh my god. Can tripped into Tron. Just. It's just that easy. Huh. That's, uh, that hurt. A little bit. All I gotta do is put the O stone into play and just sit on it. It's uh I guess I could play an EE on three. Yeah. Then clear their thing, and if we top deck grinding station we could win. So we're not out of this yet. I don't have Witch's Cottage. I yeah. All right. All right. All right. I mean, this is the plan. This is the plan. I'm not dead yet. Yep. All right. Red, blue, and black. Grixis EE. -E. Tech use for, for ones. Hey! Bonk! Get a memory. Good girl. They do pop the EE. Oh shit, they're gonna pop the EE. I fucked up. Oh, maybe not. Fate counter your talisman of progress? But if you do, I'll pop your EE. And I will have a engineered explosives. And you will have... A talisman of progress with a fate counter on it. 
It's ever so slightly better for me to... Okay. Sure. Whatever. They really want to keep me off of my double red. I guess they're mostly worried about Croxa. Yikes. Blitz. Wait. Blitz doesn't matter if I just hit the grinding station right now. But I'm drawing Emery. Shoot. I was not expecting to be under the gun this fast. Jeez. Man, that's rough. That is a cool game, sort of. Mm. If we hit a mox here, we could go for it. And the grinding station. Oh, we didn't hit anything. Okay, so nothing mattered, right? Well, I mean, it kind of did. We could have gotten there, but not, not fast enough. Jeez, that deck is a brutality. We just needed like one turn of miss. We needed one turn for them to miss. Oh my God. Rough, 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 rough. Oh, all the near misses. I think I'm, I think I'm not going to play any grinding station decks after tonight for a little while. I, uh, I'm just, just not ready for it right now. Oof. But we will be able, to, we will be able to report to Jiggy Wiggy that, uh, that this deck has some serious potential. It's very close a lot of the time. We had a turn two kill there against Burn that I just totally missed. In the previous league, we had a lot of, a lot of places where we could have done better. Has Jiggy played this before? Many times. Many, many times. Like, at least two full leagues. Well, I mean, the two O2s were, like, pretty savage. Um, we No, we beat Nexus. Loss. No, I think I could have won that game in theory. Sure, they were winning, but they hadn't won, right? Like we could we could still win off the top fairly quickly in that matchup. Cuz they were low on counter magic. They had all sorts of faffing around, grabbing other cards trying to win the game. And if you're saying, like, if we both weren't clocking, because um, I was making some bad... Like, I lost my Ashiok at one point to an attacking shark that I didn't realize was a, attacking the Ashiok, right? And that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't worried about the clock. Okay, we got another Utopia Sprawl deck. Oh, it looks like Ponza. Ponza will be interesting. Wish this deck had a basic island, but hopefully putting the Emery into play on turn two will be helpful. Okay, so I want to fetch a swamp here. And I can actually kill their sprawl. You missed the first half of game three. Ah, that's fine. I I think I could have won that game if I had or or I'd been in a better position to win that game with with tighter play. But but you are right. I mean, it definitely did not look like a convincing situation. Wow, we have hit three moxes and three emrys in our top thirteen cards. Wild. No baubles, no way for Emery to currently gain value. Please do not bolt her. I will be very upset. Okay. Ren and six with no way to gain value. A plus. I know you had that Ren and six that wasn't yet gaining you any value. Um, but uh, don't worry about it. It's not going to be a problem anymore. 
It's not, uh... I guess I'm not gonna pop this right away, because they could have Scavenging Ooze in their hand. These decks have been playing that main deck from time to time. Uh, there's not too many other two drops that they play, but... If this is a Blood Moon, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh my god, this is great. I'm gonna kill her Renesex, and we're gonna kill her Blood Moon. It's gonna be tremendous. Although, having to kill my Amory with the... To kill the Blood Moon is not the best. Let's just draw Grinding Station to win. How about that, guys? Do we... Is that a play we could make? Does anyone object if I just draw Grinding Station and win? Would that be okay? Because I... I feel like that's the plan. We just won the game on a very decent turn. Very decent turn of uh, turn uh, four. So I want everyone to know this is a turn four format, all right? I previously punted away the turn two kill because uh, because this is not a turn two format. This is a turn four format. I just need you all to know that and support me. I remember when this was a turn four format four years ago. Well, things were very different then. If you think of all the things in the world that were different at that point, I mean, modern's not the only thing that has aged poorly. But some things have come that are beautiful. Not this, though. This is horrible. This is horrible and horrifying. Give me Twin versus Jund again. Excuse me, I want to play Cruel Control. I'd like to play Cruel Control. Thank you very much. Technically speaking, I still can. And then you have to you have to beat the twin deck on your twin deck by playing Tarmo Twin. Idiot check. Yeah, there's no Thassa's Oracle there yet. Good. Good. I know Enlightened Muppet. We all miss Twin. Twin will be there in Modern Heaven with Astrolabe, Mox Amber, sorry, Mox Opal, Faithless Looting. Well, I don't know if Oko is in that in, in Modern Heaven. I mean, I like Oko, but I just feel like if I said the words Oko's in Modern Heaven waiting for us all, people would be freaked out and upset. Whenever the Thassa's Oracle's in like the bottom third of my deck, I'm always a little worried. Like, did I put it in? Is it in there? Is it in yet? I can't tell. There it is. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a... You're a pretty merfolk, aren't you?
Zero cards, cast the oracle, and we did it. Yay! Trigger. Hypergenesis. Hypergenesis is not in modern heaven. Hell no. Blazing Shoal is. Blazing Shoal deserves it. Hypergenesis gets a gnaw from me, dog. Kettleris, because that's going to die to all the removal. Lazav, same deal. I mean, two Lazavs. This Emery is generally more useful. A pod. I'm okay with pod. Twin. Yeesh. Scalding hot take. No, pod is fine. I think pod would be 100% fine. I cannot possibly imagine problems happening if they unbanned pod. I really cannot. It's it's like looking at um, Stoneforge Mystic. Like when you just compare it to what's happening right now, you go, how would this end? Like, it's just, no, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way pod would be anything more than just another deck in the format. I don't believe it for a second that pod would be some kind of brutal monster i don't care if twin is amazing in tier one again i mean that the the blue moon kiki deck right now is like pretty okay it just needs to be powered up by that having that one mana less but it's a non-creature spell so it's even not that good against force of negation so it's not even close i mean if you say so but pod with urza and emery sure but do you really think that's any better than what's going on right now? You're going up to, you, like, you're spending four mana to turn a one mana play into a four mana play that's kind of middling right now. Like, Urza's not really doing it unless you're playing Thopter Sword combo. I'm not saying those decks probably wouldn't play pod, but I don't think it would make them that much better. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But generally speaking, I'm pretty sure that pod is not, not would not be broken in modern at all. Huh. My combo deck drew all the things. Unpanned Gitaxian Probe and Mental Misstep. Roy! Roy, you been huffing glue again? Opponent took a mulligan. We have a nigh perfect se seven. So, I have three engineered explosives in my deck to find. I do have to put them in my hand, but uh, it's okay. Croxa being shut off is kind of frustrating, but other than that, I think we're okay. We still need to set up for potential Blood Moon. Top card is Clothis. I think I will sandbag my Thoughtseize for a turn. Thank you. Good draw. Good draw. Good draw. I like that one. Excuse? Cinder Vines. Okay, fair enough. I will take my one. Put 
Take my two, take my one. Ah, no, I was supposed to play the Lazav. Ah, I got distracted by commenting on the Cinder Vines. Holy jumping. Well, they don't have a third land. And I'm just going to go ahead and pray they never find it. So, I miss paper mostly because when I bobble, people are going to have to keep that one. Yeah. Well, we're going to get Blood Mooned. And it's going to be really, really bad. But we could find... No. I mean, maybe they... I don't know. Yikes. Didn't know my opponent was playing Red Green Prison. Man, I screwed up so badly by not playing the Lazav last turn. Shoot. I even, like, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I just fat-fingered through it for no good reason. It's frustrating. All right. Just... Just one of those leagues with nothing but punts. Or one of those whole nights, I guess. Woof. It's not a good draw. Excuse me. Sure, why not? So if I draw, if I draw EE e. now, get rid of the cinder vines. If I start going off, I have to find Springleaf Drum to be able to play the Emery. I need more. I need more mana. Jeez, doesn't kill my black mana. Interesting. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. Hey, we did the thing. All right. Well, I think we're just going to die anyway, but uh, kill that Graft Digger's Cage. Bone Crusher? Season Pyro, all right. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna die, I think. Yeah, they put a Bone Crusher in their graveyard so they can pump their Scoos this turn. So, yeah, Does, doesn't matter, can't do it. Yikes. God bless it. All right, tiny, tiny mistakes we keep getting horribly punished by. I mean, I say tiny, that sequencing mistake was really, really dumb when I said exactly what I wanted to do. But just got a little little hasty and overly clever with my wanting to thought seize their clothis. Not really realizing that I guess... I guess I don't even care about Clothis that much compared to the uh, Blood Moon that I could have taken, which I, I didn't know was there, but I misplayed into it for sure. It's not great, but it does dodge a lot of their hate. Uh, well, I didn't ship an Enlightened Muppet, so hopefully we get away with murder here. Sand is a ship. I mean, yeah, I just... Uh, I think this is just... This whole night is just sort of a mulligan for me. Just feel like I got in my head all the time about all the, all the different mistakes we were making. I was making.
I mean, that's a good draw. It's gonna help. Blue, blue, red, red, what? Wow. I mean. Going to 14, but we've got a turn three attacking Kroxa. Oh, you want Lazav the Multifarious. He doesn't know. What do I not know? They have three Blood Moons in their hand. Three. I'm taking their Relic, and I'm going to kill them with this Croxa. That is the plan. This is the way. It's a lot of blood, but Blood Moon doesn't turn off Lazav. They need to find Lightning Bolt right now. Otherwise, I've got a turn three attacking Croxa that's just going to take me home. Mm-hmm. Sure. No problem. Can they beat this? Sure. Is that hand likely to beat this? Mm. Not soon. Not quickly. All right, little deck. I have not been good to you, and I apologize. But we can win this game, and I would like to win this game. So you, me, and Kroxa, Lazav. We're going to do this, all right? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. I'm going to go on vacation to the Poconos. I don't even know where they are, but I'll find out so we can go there. Turn three, attacking Croxa. Oh, yeah. Forever. Just forever. She keeps it forever. Just never, never goes away. So this should be Magus, and they're hoping to draw... Well, shit. If they can get that animate, that will not be good for us. Hey, look, a useless land. Enjoy it, me. I guess they're hoping they can get this cloth as animate. They have one, two, three, four, uh, and the Cinder Vines makes five, six. So they'll need to jump with the, hey, Connor man, uh, not so good. It's been a really, really rough night playing a deck that has not been playing two decks in a row that are very, very demanding. But, oh, they gain life here. Okay, so they have extra time. Shoot, they have all the extra time they need because of this. Well... Yep. Bruise indeed, my friend. Bruise indeed. On the plus side, we'll get the Magus out of their hands, so they do need to top deck something with a Devotion Pip to stay alive. Yeah. No, yeah, well, it should be, but these brews are uh, with uh, Underworld Breach and Grinding Station. Next turn, they just activate Clothis. They don't have any cards in their hand. No, they don't have any cards in their hand. They need to draw a Devotion Pip. That's what I was... I just said that. Also, if they take this, I'm going to kill them. This is the point. I don't know if it is the point. Point. It's Croxa, it's Croxa, and the Zav, 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 Zav. Thanks for the follow, Connor Man. Connor Man 11, people. Hammer aficionado. Point. All right, they got three mana. That's not going to do it. 
That's not gonna do it. We got the two three, baby. We got the two three, baby. We got him. All right, folks. We got him. Boosh. Nice blood moons. Now for the real jank. Yo, we got him. Got him with that big jank stick. So yeah, all right. So, Grixis grinding breach. Uh, I think this deck could do with less Lazavs. Because we got Lazav flooded a couple times and that's really, really rough. Um, and the rest of it is really good, really complicated, and really powerful. We had a turn two kill against Burn that I just straight up missed because I, I did not notice it at all. Um, again, I wasn't looking for it, so that was part of the problem there. Um, I think this deck gets more from running Teferi than it would Croxa. I do like Unearth though. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so Grinding Breach as a deck is technically mono red, or the combination is. Um, but you need the blue for the win with Thassa's Oracle, so it's usually red blue. And then you sort of mix to taste. Um, Jeskai was the first most popular version. I think. Grixis makes a lot of sense because Unearth is so good with the other things that you're playing. I don't know if Lazav and Croxa is the right things to be playing, and maybe we're supposed to just play four colors with Teferi and just, just goof around. Um, yeah, McDerp, you are clearly one of the good people. Good for you. But yeah, I'm not sure about it. I, I, th this one and the Teamer one today, I, I want to take a mulligan on these and come back to them maybe in a week. Um, and play them on separate nights because that did not need to be done. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I want to thank all you people for being in here because that has made it a lot more fun to stomach uh, going through these gratuitous, gratuitous lines. Um, so thanks for that. Um, both of these videos will eventually be posted to YouTube over the next couple of days. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow, not playing magic. I'm going to play some, uh, Chrono Trigger. So I'll probably do that every Monday night until I finish it. So if any of you wonderful people want to be here, Meanwhile. when I'm doing that, you can do that. Um, so I'm going to send you guys over to Giglio, Giglio. And uh, you can watch him learn to play Death Shadow and tell him I just crushed a Ponza deck that had an infinite number of Blood Moons. So, uh, you know, let him know that mana hosing people is not always going to win you uh, win you games, win you matches. And you guys all have a good night. See you soon enough, I'm sure.